Hey everyone, thought I'd do a video and today I'm going to be telling you what I'm going to be reading for the Christmas Booktubeathon. Now I am so excited because the first time I ever participated in some sort of readathon was when the Booktubeathon first came out in summer and I am so excited that I get to participate in it again and it is about seven hours away for my time to start the Booktubeathon. I meant to film this video actually sooner but I, everything got sort of crazy last night because I finally finished moving all my stuff into this room and it's a little bit messy in here I'm not gonna lie it is fairly messy and I need to go through a lot of stuff so that I can organize it better. So the Christmas Booktubeathon will start on the 20th of December whatever your time is like once once it hits the 20th then you get to start it goes from whoever wherever you are you you just start so like I said mine is about seven hours away because the 20th is coming soon I'm so excited oh my gosh this is gonna be so much fun it's actually gonna be only three days this time because it is Christmas so they want it to be a little bit more relaxed and like they still want you to be able to read a lot it's just gonna be a lot of fun there's gonna be reading sprints on Twitter I actually didn't participate in the Twitter sprints which I wish I would have last time but this time I'm gonna start going into the sprints and it sounds so much fun so I'm gonna try that out and also there won't be any challenges put in this booktubeathon because they do want it to be a little bit more relaxed and since it is almost Christmas so yeah that's how that's how things are gonna play out alright so let's just get right into the TBR so the first book that I'm hoping to read is going to be Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, the graphic novel edition. I actually already read the um, the actual book, but I found out that there's going to be there's like a graphic novel, so I went out and bought it. And yeah, I'm just excited to read it. Um, I didn't read it right away once I picked it up. I don't know. It just sort of seems a little bit intimidating, almost, because I've never read this type of graphic novel I guess um, there's a little bit more words than than what I'm used to and there's a lot of pages so it's a little bit intimidating and but it, it looks really good and I really really want to get into it. it looks really good and yeah I'm just excited to read this novel next book that I'm hoping to read is gonna be called Gone by Lisa McMahon this is the last book in the Wake trilogy and I'm so excited because I really want to finish this trilogy um, I'm surprised that I haven't yet because I started this book a couple of days ago it's just for some reason I'm reading it a little bit slow I'm not sure why um, maybe I'm just like cautious of finishing it or something like that I don't know for some reason I am not reading it as fast as I did the first two books maybe it's because I read the first two books already and I know what to expect and then I, I don't know some something's going on with that but I'm hoping that this book Tubathon will help me just get right into it and finish this awesome trilogy and the last two books that I'm hoping to finish in this book Tubeathon is going to be called Fifty Shades Freed by E.L. James and The Ask and the Answer by Patrick Ness. So the reason why I'm showing you these two together is because these two, I've since they are like the second and the third book in in you know trilogies and series and all that, I read the first book of this series and it took me a week to read that book and then I read the first two books in this series and it took at least a week to read those each so I am sort of cautious about this I'm hoping to read both of these if I can during the book Tubeathon but I am not a hundred percent confident that I am going to be reading it during the booktubeathon and finishing it during the booktubeathon. So I'm really hoping that I can. These are really, really great series. Um, I finally came to terms with my feelings for The Knife of Never Letting Go and I'm hoping that my feelings will be a little bit like 
more up, I guess, because for some reason I wasn't, I really wasn't feeling the first book and I decided to take a break from it so that I could come back later and hopefully my feelings will be better. And now I have sort of come to turn with my feelings, I guess, sort of. So I really want to get into the second book and read it. And as for this, I've been waiting to read this book for a while. I'm not sure why. I think I've been putting it off because I really like this series. It's really good. And oh my gosh, it's so good. So, um, and I, I'm ready. I want to finish this, this book before the end of the year. And I really want to do it soon because I know that I take a little bit of time to read this book. So... Yeah, I'm really hoping to finish these two books. They are such great, they are such great series and I just really want to just get into them and finish them. It's going to be so awesome. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below telling me if you are going to be participating in the Booktubeathon or if you've already started or what's just, just whatever like that. Just comment down below and tell me what's happening, what's going on with you. If you've read like how many books during the Booktubeathon or just anything like that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So bye.